Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about naive T cell activation. Here is a dendritic cell, and here is a naive T cell. An activation has many parts. The main activation requires MHC molecule, in this case, MHC2 and an antigen binding with, here is the T cell receptor, and this is CD4. So this initial binding of TCR with the MHC2 plus the antigen complex, together with CD4 binding to a part of the MHC2 leads to a lot of uh, signaling. And this signaling leads to the naive T cell activating and expressing a protein called CD28. And the dendritic cell signaling leads to expression of B71 and B72. They're also called CD80 and CD86. And the B71, B72 bind with CD28. And this results in more stimulation and the naive T cell will start expressing IL2 receptor and IL2 ligands and the binding of IL2 ligand to IL2 receptor uh, adds even more stimulation signals. The naive T cell also express CD40 and then the dendritic cell express CD40 receptor and they also bind stimulates even more and the dendritic cell makes a lot of chemokines cytokines recruit more immune cells and let the surrounding cells know that a adaptive immunity response is on its way there are many positive feedbacks that further drive the expression of these things like B71 and B72 and there will be even more signaling. Successful TCR binding and all of these co-stimulations drive this naive T cell to become effector T cell. And the effector T cell will continuously multiply in this stimulating environment to create a clone of itself. And the whole event of stimulating a naive T cell from TCR MHC recognition to co-stimulation takes about an hour. And finally, days later, finally, Days later, the effector T cell finally days later, the cell is now an effector T cell will make another protein called CTLA4 and CTLA4 outcompetes CD28 for B71, B72 and the CTLA4 binding finally turns off all of these positive feedbacks and uh, stimulation signals. Most immunosuppression drugs don't work on this TCR MHC binding, but rather pathways in the dendritic cell or T cells to drive the co-stimulation process. And in cancer immunotherapy, uh, people want uh, patients T cell to fight longer. They block CDLA4 inhibitory signal by blocking the interaction between CTLA4 and B71, B72.